opening up the conversation on a tough topic this morning. The use of abuse, the use and abuse of alcohol and drugs by teens. Candice Limoges joins us now. She is a registered psychologist with Health Services. Thank you so much for coming in, Candice. So me. is it normal for teens to experiment with drugs and alcohol? Substance abuse for teenagers is certainly a problem that we're aware about. And what we want parents to be clear and understand is that um, it's not uncommon for teens to experiment with drugs and alcohol, but that when substance abuse is an issue, uh, we want parents to know that often kids are in emotional pain and they are trying to um, either escape or get away from that. And some of those things could be if, if a teenager is depressed or anxious mm -hmm. or if they're feeling very, very lonely or experiencing conflict at school or at home. Those would be reasons or motivations that they may use and abuse alcohol okay or drugs. so as a parent when should i be aware of this behavior yeah. when like should i find it in the room or would the child approach us probably not yeah. so there's a few things that we suggest parents do mm -hmm. first and foremost we want parents to be observant of their children and so to take an active role in in their teenagers lives and what that looks like would be um, parents who are aware of their child's behavior patterns which would be um, school attendance and school performance, uh, their uh, eating and sleeping, as well as the nature of their relationships, how they're spending their time, any change in friendship groups. And so being observant of your child is important. Open communication with look like parents who are looking to support their kids and have curious and open conversations about how adolescence is impacting them and teenagers are going through a lot and often parents who are just willing to talk about that with their kids will learn a lot and uh, be able to understand a little bit more about what's happening. Okay, so you suspect something's going on. How do you approach your child? Yeah, and so what parents are going to want to do is um, be compassionate first and mm -hmm. foremost and so parents who approach their kids in a kind and understanding way where they're looking to see what reasons for use that their kids may have, that's going to be a really important thing. Parents are going to want to um, ask about what's going on for their teen rather than focus on substance abuse. It would be easier for them to navigate a conversation that's timed appropriately and where there aren't a lot of pressures to be somewhere or do something. Um, a neutral conversation where a parent can be pretty casual and not worked up and not, not in a state of uh, high excitement over the issue of what they're worried about would mm -hmm. be important. Exactly. There's probably a lot of emotions that go on. Um, where can they get some help? So Hall Services uh, does have a team of psychologists that are available to help parents have a conversation about their teens uh, substance abuse if they suspect that there's abuse happening. Uh, parents who would be seeking help would be because they've noticed that their teen is deteriorated and functioning quite a bit. So we would see a decrease in um, school attendance and performance, how they're spending their free time and concerns for um, how their teen is functioning in everyday life in a multitude of areas rather than just one or two. Okay, and give us your website. It is www.hallservices.ca. Thank you so much, Candace. And uh, you can contact them at their website for more information, 403-589-1865, or email them at Hall Psych. P -S -Y -C -H at hullservices.ca. Also, don't forget to pick up the latest edition of Calgary's Child Magazine. It's on stands at various places in Calgary. You can also like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter.